Okay, we've got the flex denser. It's uh, uh, basically a talon hand. It's got uh, uh, the talon unipalm and uh, um, the talon proximals. And then uh, the distals are a little different be just because of how they, uh, how they tie. So, um, uh, first let's talk about the, um, the cabling of the flexors. The flexors are the, the strings that close, that close the hand. Okay, so um, uh, the flexors start um, on, uh, actually they start here, and what you'll do to thread them, the cable's tied around right here. So, um, uh, so you're going to push the cable through both holes, this, uh, uh, this hole here and this hole here, and uh, you push them down a channel so that both ends actually come out on the other side. Here, let me get these. So again, we're looking at the middle finger here. So this is the same cable, and it's tied in a knot, and it runs down the underside here. And then uh, you can see that it um, it goes into uh, this this hole here, which is uh, uh, around the middle uh, of the inside of this uh, of this bracket. Okay. So again, we're following the flexors, and this is a uh, heavy gauge. This is 250-pound braided line. Um, so next, the uh, I'm using the middle the middle finger flexor. All the, all the flexors run pretty much the same way. Um, and so now, what happens is uh, each flexor goes through its uh, its hole here. This is for the thumb flexor. This is the index and here's the middle finger flexor which is which is the one that we're following and they all come out and they go into into this block here and you can see the front of the block you can see where these five uh, five cables are going in and they actually thread all the way through and come out inside here So this is uh, looks like uh, what I use a number four, maybe five eighths of an inch. For um, uh, now, this this hand was printed at about a hundred and uh, about one hundred sixty percent, one point five eight actually. But but it's you'll get the same measurements at one hundred sixty or one point six if you like. So this is just a pivot cover, keeps this pivot section under control. And here's another, here's a pivot that's printed. Okay, and you can see there's a hole that runs all the way through here, and there's the hole that intersects it in the side. Right? And so, um, uh, so that's, that's where the pivot is. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so the flexors, they go uh, through these holes, and they actually come out the back. So, um, and uh, they're held in place with set screws. Uh, these are uh, 1024 set screws. It's an American size, so <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this for my friend in Belgium, and uh, I'm afraid he's going to have to find metric sizes that'll that'll um, uh, bite into the plastic. It's just a thread into the plastic, so. Um, Anyway, we're following uh, we're following the middle finger, so this is the this is where the screw is the set screw for the middle finger, 
I'm just gonna take that out then. So for the flex gender, or flex denser, I should say, it should be called flex gender. Um, uh, this is the uh, uh, set screw. It looks like uh, it's about three eighths of an inch long, um, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit longer than that, maybe almost a half inch. So anyway, if you go with probably. Uh, uh, um, gosh, I don't even know what size that is. Is that a, an M6 metric size? Uh, and probably about 10 millimeters long. So, a centimeter long. Alright. Um, and it bites right into the plastic here. And you can see now that, that this cable for the middle finger is now loose. Alright. You can see that even if I flex this, the middle finger stays. Ooh, that's a little bit obscene, right? So let's uh, uh, let's actually uh, straighten this out and align it with the rest of the fingers. Okay, so they're all outstretched, and I'm pretty much just gonna put that set screw back in. And actually, you kind of want the set screw <laughs> mostly in place before you even think about um, getting the string tensioned right. So this is almost... I can feel when I hit the bottom, so I'm going to back it up a little bit and then just make sure that's the one. Make sure it's as tight as the rest of them. So, there we go. Everything's closing together again. Alright. So, let's follow the extensors now. Okay. So, extensors here are these uh, thin, they're much thinner. Uh, this is, like I said, this is 250 pound line, and this is, I think, 80 pound uh, Dyneema. It's a braided fishing line. So this is this is where the uh, extensors uh, terminate. Uh, you can see they're tied. Let me get the scissors again so I can point. So um, they're tied off right here on this bar. Uh, you can see there's the knot right there. Um, okay, and then uh, it goes through the uh, the dorsal channel through it down the the back of the finger. So it's uh, running through the inside there, and then comes out the top, uh, the top holes in the in the um, uh, the kind of uh, bracket, the palm bracket, little top hole here, and then I've got them uh, all coming over to the end here, which is um, uh, I think going to make the pivot more effective. I guess if I have them running through there, I think so. that's that's what I decided. Um, I could be mistaken, but. Um, just seem to sort of keep things more out of the way. Um, so this, there's this bar here, right? It's like this, and uh, and it uh, pushes on the pivot, and that pivot runs the extensors. Okay. Now this, uh, on a 160% build, 
I found that uh, this um, uh, set screw uh, that it actually had an 832 so a slightly smaller set screw uh, fits in there well and um, actually I should put the pivot cover on before I unscrew this because it, it does a lot to keep this thing stable So this is a little smaller. This is an 832. Uh, it looks like it's about a quarter inch. Um, so, you know, maybe seven millimeters. And I don't know if that's an M5 or an M4. I hope you can find something like that. But that's a set screw. So I've got uh, all five of these going through this one hole, you can see. So I kind of have to pull on all of them. stretched here. Okay, and I've got the wrist opened. good. Yeah. There we go. Uh, one of the things I'd like improved on the flex sensor is uh, these uh, cable anchors. It'd be nice like on the talon hand now, there's there's one that has uh, ten holes, and so each cable is actually secured with two screws uh, instead of just one. Uh, so it'd be nice to incorporate that into this. Um, the other thing would be it'd be nice to um, make it less bulky. 
so that it lies flatter on the um, on the arm, give it a, a lower profile, I guess you might say. Um, 